Hey guys, so in this video, I'm just going to go over threading and we're going to create the um, attributes and the constructor for our dictionary attack class. So now, just something with Tikinta. So effectively, how Tikinta works is if we go to birdsmith.py and scroll down to the main loop, what the main loop is essentially doing is running a loop indefinitely, and that's what's keeping our GUI open. So if we run the project, so what's happening right now is a thread, which is like, you can just think of it as a string or a flow of execution is running indefinitely. And that's keeping this screen open. And then what's happening is it's waiting for any events to take place. So like if I click on file and then click on this, then an event has taken place and an action has taken place. And this process is going to run indefinitely on that main thread or main string until, um, until the window is destroyed or the application is destroyed. So when we exit the program and then that loop is exited. Okay, so now where this becomes an issue or like, well, for us is that when this main thread is running, um, it's locked. So every all of our executions are gonna be running, running on this main thread. So if we have an execution that takes up a lot of time, what's going to happen is the Tekinta GUI itself is going to freeze until that execution is finished because it's running on the same thread. So in order for our dictionary attack to do everything it needs to do, i.e. Um, going through all of the passwords, attempting to open the files, and then sending that to the output here, um, it has to be done on a separate thread. So like a separate line of execution. And that process is those threads, they'll be running concurrently. So at the same time, effectively. And with that, it will free up the GUI window so we can still do things with our GUI. So if there's more options here, we could still do that while that process is running on a separate thread. So that is why we have to use uh, multi-threading for this application. Okay, so then if we go to our controller, we're going to import that threading application in Python. So import threading. Okay. And then what we're going to do, so our dictionary attack class, this class is going to run on a separate thread. So threading dot thread. So this dictionary attack class itself, yeah, it's going to run on a separate thread. And we're going to um, initialize our constructor. So define init underscore self. We're going to have an instance of the view. We're going to have the password underscore file. We're going to have the save underscore destination. So destination. And we're going to have the targets, which are attack target objects attack targets object. Okay, and then what we're gonna have is just super, which represents the thread in dot thread class, dot underscore, 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 and yeah. Okay, um, just a second. Yeah. Okay, and one more thing, actually, let me just double check something. Okay, so now if we go down, these are the attributes from the threading class. So thread attributes. We're gonna know just for like distinction, we're going to just change the thread ID. We're gonna give this thread an ID. This is gonna be equal to one. And then the name of the thread, we're just gonna call it name and we're just gonna call it attack thread. So if we ever need to do more of these processes, um, we can we can find out which thread is being used through these two attributes. Okay. And our Tekinta GUI itself is going to be running on the main thread. So this will be a separate thread to that. So separate like flow of execution. And then self.view is going to equal to view. So this thread it's kind of, um, it's a bit of the pseudo MVC model without the model, because this thread is going to be communicating directly with the view. So it's going to be telling the view like what to update. So those methods we created earlier, 
um, like insert text message, this uh, insert text message into the message box, that's going to be ran from in here so that we can display the user like with updates on how our dictionary attack is working out. And then self.password underscore file equals, so ignore that, uh, equals password file self.save underscore destination equals save underscore destination and then self dot attack underscore targets equals targets okay and then we're gonna have one more called supported underscore types so these are the two types that we're going to support in our dictionary attack and what they're going to be it's going to be a frozen set frozen set so the reason why it's a set is because the set is um, very fast in terms of lookup. Is um, the time complexity is O one, so it's like constant time lookup. And dot zip. So basically, um, these are the supported types that our dictionary attack will work on: dot raw files and dot zip files. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just to run class. This is to override the threading the thread run class. And this is where our code for this thread is going to execute from. So the same way that our whole token to GUI is executed from this application, the dictionary attack is going to be executed from this run class, but we're just going to pass in self for now. Okay. Now, um, another thing to note is in the controller is attack.start. Start is actually the initializer for runs. So that's going to initialize this run method. So what start um, initiates this? Initiates this. Okay. So now one more thing to note is the files that I said are supported, the .raw and .zip. So what we're going to need to do is import to uh, modules. So if you don't have these modules, uh, you're going to need to import them. Um, so go to the command prompt and they are, so one is unra. So what you can do is pip install unra. So I should have it installed, so it should be fine for me. And the other one is, um, I believe Z library, but I think that's already part of Python. So you do pip install zlib. So I think this is part of the Python standard library. So that should be fine. And the other one was zip file. And I believe that is part of Python's, um, Python standard library. So pip install zip file. Just double checking. So I don't think you need to do this one as well. Cool. So the only one you actually need to do is pip install Amra. Okay. And then we're going to import them into our controller. So from zip file, Import zip file, capital Z, capital F. And then from on raw, import raw file. Okay, and then one more is import zlib. And the reason why I put in zlib is because I believe we need to use an error later on. So, and that's the one way to identify this particular error. So that's why we're doing that. Okay, cool. So our dictionary attack is, well, the beginning of it is written. And then what we're going to start to do next, um, which is going to be a very long video, is we're going to actually write out our um, execution. So this will be the execution of our dictionary attack with all this information that we have. Okay, so that'll be the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.